that Ethernet there. Now why is the built-in Ethernet not plugged up? Because the built-in Ethernet is 100 megabit Ethernet. 100 megabit Ethernet is not fast enough. When working with customer data, when you have a transfer to do, when you have to move stuff around, back it up to a server, copy from one disk to another, whatever, you want to do it as fast as possible because the truth of the matter is, turnaround time is very important. Time is money, and I just finished something, and it finished ten times faster than it would have had I not done something to speed it up. I have this computer over here, it's quite old, it's got an Athlon 2X2. The BIOS date on this thing is 2010. So this is a 12-year-old desktop computer that's being upgraded to Windows 10. The problem is that an older computer may not have the ways that you want to transfer stuff quickly. Let me give you a quick tour of what I'm up against on this. You have Ethernet over here on the back, in fact. You can see that you have Ethernet. That Ethernet there. Now why is the built-in Ethernet not plugged up? Because the built-in Ethernet is 100 megabit Ethernet. 100 megabit Ethernet is not fast enough, so this is an Intel network card, a PCI Express one, and the only PCI Express slot that was available at all, right there, you see that? Yeah, that's my PCI Express Ethernet adapter. One gigabit, 10 times faster. Another annoying thing about a computer of this vintage is that such a computer will often not have USB 3. These are USB 2 only ports. These ports are all USB 2. There's not a single blue USB 3 port on this computer. You could add in a card for that if you had one. Now the last one I had exploded, so that's not really a good option for me. But what is a good option? Do you see these SATA ports down here? There's a couple spares. Now what I would normally do is this hard drive, if I wanted to do a quick backup and I do, didn't want to back up to a network server like I'm doing with this, plug in another drive temporarily to one of these SATA ports, but you don't even have to do that. Don't waste your time plugging in an extra SATA cable and then fishing up a power cable for it. Because this computer, if you look up here, this computer has a SATA DVD drive. Steal these. Unplug these cables and plug them into the hard drive. Don't add cables and then take them back out. Temporarily pull the optical drive you don't even need in the first place to do the data transfer. You can always plug them back up later. Let me show you something over here. For a machine that has USB 3, this buried in here this is a pluggable, it's USB 3.0 to 2.5 gigabit Ethernet. And I've bought the infrastructure, this Netgear switch here. It is a ProSafe MS510TX, you can see that right there. 2.5, 5, and 10 gigabit ports as well as four regular gigabit ports. What I can do is I can use this adapter plus this switch and a server that is wired up with 2.5 gigabit as well and that will further boost my transfer speeds from 1 gigabit to 2.5 gigabits. If I just naively plugged it up, did the backup to the server, did the image drop, did the restore. The image drop took a minute and 26 seconds for about eight gigabytes of compressed image data to transfer over and go onto the drive. We can safely assume that that would have happened at roughly nine to 10 times slower speed. So instead of a minute and 26 seconds, we'd be looking, a minute and a half, basically, we would be looking at like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. It's important to have things like this PCIe network adapter in your arsenal when you do computer service work. Because if you can plug in a card and it makes the transfer 10 times faster, or you can plug a drive directly in, see the USBs maxes out at about 30 megabytes a second, but the SATA ports max out a whole lot higher. Finding the fastest transfer method, having the few things on hand that give you access to a faster transfer method, can mean exponentially quicker computer service repair. We're talking like a computer that I just did a backup and re-image on, 
and I'm about to do a restore to, I'll have the whole thing, all of the transfers done in 15 minutes or so. But it could easily have taken over an hour of bench time. And when you're being paid a fixed rate for the work, you want to get it done faster so you can do more jobs. It's very important that you find these speed ups. And they can be a little inconvenient. Yes, I had to rip this computer open. The, the plate for it is there on the floor. I had to rip it open. I had to put in a card that I paid for temporarily to get it to do what I wanted. But that card might cost 30 or 40 dollars and result in me being able to turn a computer around 10 times faster. You do the math in your head. Figure that out. And the other thing is, if you have people working for you, you need to teach them to do this stuff. You need to teach them that they can do this speed up stuff, you know, put in a network card. If it's got USB 3 ports and you have 2.5 gigabit infrastructure, plug in the USB 2.5 gigabit adapter. Make sure that all your stuff supports that adapter, you know, load the driver, whatever, because the amount of time it takes to load the driver for that is insignificant compared to the amount of time that it takes to sit there and wait on a much slower transfer. We're talking orders of magnitude slower transfers. Just do it. I hope this has been helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Thanks for watching. Take care.